All right, on right now with Rocket Sanders. Hey, Rocket, where are you right now? Right now, I'm in the training room right now. So, what, what are we, eight eight games in the season? Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Are you sore and hurt all the time now? Do you wake up every morning like, oh, my, my leg, my ankle, my neck, or are you good? Uh, I'm a little sore, but I wouldn't say I wake up like that. I'll probably say the worst, the worst day for me, I'll probably say, is um, the night, the night, the night after the game. Does it start hurting immediately after the game, or is it when your adrenaline comes down and you go home and you're like, oh, yeah, when, man. It, when it comes down and like really when I'm laying down, laying down, I get home late night type do, deal. Do you ever have a headache and you're like, I don't want to run the ball, but you don't want to tell anybody you have a headache during the game? You're like, oh, my head's killing me. I just got licked. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it'd be moments. It'd be moments where I have headaches, but it really the moments should be like last drive, we got a score type deal. So, um, but like I feel like I, I worked on that. So it's like just it's that last that last set. You know what I mean? You can't really I can't really sit there and be like, hey, hold on, can't hold on and like tell the coach. So you know, just finish it out. But I work I work on that. So it's like it's it's fine. Whenever. If I play flag football and I can get the corner on somebody, and I, I talk to them, I'll be like, "Got you!" and I get the corner. Do you ever? Because we can't see what you're saying. If you ever turn the corner yeah. on someone, you know you got them. Do you ever go, "Got you"? No, nah, in my head I'd be thinking that, but I don't be saying too much because we're we're a tempo offense, so it's like we're trying to get the ball back in and get get a get a get a play. You know what I mean? Get the next play. Give so me any, really, some of the plays that are called. You know, there are a lot of there's a lot of terminology that we don't understand. Give me a play that they would call in the huddle. Don't care which one, but one where we'd be like, "What is? What's even happening right there?" Oh, uh, what, what you mean about that? Like I don't know. Let's say uh, KJ's in the huddle and you guys are gonna run a, a formation, you know, some sort of spread. But he's actually calling a play. And he's probably he's probably not calling. Okay, we're gonna go rocket uh, right beside the center. Go. I'm sure there's some sort of play name yeah, well, like three X W. Well, play play calling is like here. Stay a full play calling is like in every. It's like everything. Everything's not for me. It's like one thing that um, like just in general, he'll say a play, and like one thing out of that play, it'll be for me. Same as it's for the receivers and the offensive line. When you have an offensive line as good as your offensive line right now, do, after the game, do you ever reach out and go like, guys, you guys really, really did it for me this game. Appreciate that. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, definitely shot them out heavy. Definitely after a big play. Shoot, even in, even when the drive don't work for us, you know what I mean. Always giving them a compliment. Just compliment every time and during practice as well. Definitely, it feels great coming back this year with them. You get you get all kind of free stuff like from the because we went down and you know we went down into where they have all the shirts and shoes and they hooked us up with like backpacks full of stuff and so we got all the free Razorback stuff. I got to imagine as a player, can you just request be like I need another sweatshirt? Uh yeah, I feel like um uh definitely definitely for like the quit for the equipment people like they they come in handy. They come in handy with like new stuff. Um, we get gear, of course, but I feel like yeah, definitely like every game I'll be trying to ch- change the swag up a little bit. Just even if it's like changing wristbands and stuff like that, I feel like they come in handy with that. Eddie, what do you want to say to Rocket? Hey, Rocket. So when you when you have the ball and you're you're hitting a wall of four defenders, right, and you're trying to fight for that extra yardage, what does that feel like, dude? When you like turn your back and you're just fighting against? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. When it comes down to that, I don't I don't really feel nothing. I really don't feel nothing. Um, and I feel like uh, just it was just a play against Auburn, close by the touchdown that I didn't score. And um, after the play, my office, my office in line, uh, I think it was, was it? I think it was Ricky. He was like, um, next time, do you want me to push harder? I was like, yeah, just go ahead. I won't be feeling nothing at, at all when I'm inside. Like when a lot of people on me, definitely want to get close by the touchdown. You know what I mean? I'd be wanting to touchdown. So by any means, I'd be like, yeah, just push me in. Yeah, because sometimes it looks like it hurts whenever the linemen yeah. come running in and go boom from the back to push yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. He yeah, Rick, Ricky actually did that. Um, but he didn't do it as hard. He said he was like, after that, like I said, after that, he asked me, "Hey, do you want me to push in hard?" I was like, "Yeah, go for it. I don't buy." Because hey, like, what really as a running back, the worst thing is a pal standing up is okay, but a pal standing down is pretty bad because a lot of teams play dirty. So like when you get in the power, a lot of, you know a lot of refs and a lot of people don't see things. So it's like that's the worst. Just getting on the ground, and like a lot of people on top of you. Definitely defensive line. What's happening down there? You're at the bottom. What's happening at the bottom of that pile? What's being said? What's what's pe- what are people doing with their hands? Man, they talk. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A lot of teams, a lot of teams be talking crazy when they're in the power. Definitely for beating them. But like I say, just. <laughs> Man, they're just pinching and some more stuff. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna get deep to it, but 
it's, it's, some, it's some crazy it's crazy thing that you'll think like negative about. Yeah, it's definitely a negative way. Uh, Rocket Sanders right now leading the <laughs> SEC in rushing. Uh, going into the season, did you feel like you were, you know, physically at a place where you could do what you're doing now on the ground? Um, actually, that was the goal. Um, actually, just the off season, I feel like that having that one year um, under my belt as a freshman and, and watching people in front of me, um, I feel like that's that would really like help me and um just getting some feedback for a couple of players I know um that went to the league and just people that I reach out in college as a running back that was here in college before me. I'm just reaching out with them. I feel like that helped me out as well. So like this year, just in, just one thing that I feel like I changed is being patient and um just being relaxed and um having the same people in front of me blocking for me and um the quarterback that's with me that was with me last year helped me out a lot with being patient so I definitely say this year I feel like that was the goal and um I got many more goals to reach and um, I feel like that's not the only only goal that um I can accomplish on my franchise in Madden I'm on 2024 I just drafted you first round you first round pick <laughs> running back out of Arkansas and so I'm pumped to have you on my team in Madden uh, we're five games in you got about 700 yards rushing and it, well, I'm playing all Madden level too so the future is very bright for you oh, Rocket Madden, dang that's crazy all Madden yeah that's smooth that's smooth <laughs> first round pick as a running back that's right I didn't even you you were you were already up there too like I had to jump a couple spots to get you yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal, definitely. That's the goal. What is a day in the life like for you? You wake up at what time, and, and do you start? Do you go to class? What's your, what's your yeah, daily schedule? Definitely go to class. Um, main thing, um, I feel like uh, if you're doing good in school, I feel like everything else is going to play play out as in just just putting the work in for football as well. But um, I feel like when it comes down to school, regular day, I just say, well, throughout the week, um, it's what? So I explained today. Today I, w- I woke up around like 6.30 get to get to here by like seven get some treatment in the morning so um you know feel great later on during practice and then i had what i got a class at, i had a class at eight so i had after treatment the rest of class at eight um got a little chill time right now so i'm getting more treatment and then got a class at 11 30 and then after that uh we got meetings and stuff what around like 2 30 and then i gotta get taped at one to be ready for meetings at 2 30. Yeah, it sounds like a full day for yeah, sure. I don't get out, and I don't get out of practice till what um Tuesdays and Wednesdays is like a pretty busy day. So um well practice wise, we'll get out probably around like six thirty. So then you know I got get a little more treatment after that and get in the cold tub. So I ain't home probably till like seven eight. Yeah, it's a busy day. I thought I was busy. Mm-hmm. I still think I'm busy, but that's also busy. <laughs> that's real busy. Yeah, that's all. That's also busy. Just imagine, just imagine doing that every day though. So it's like that's it's yeah. like. It's crazy. That's why, like, when it comes down to talk to my family, it's like really only time I get to talk to them for is like throughout the day is when when I'm in the car, <laughs> when I'm in the car going home because boy, I know when I leave leave that car, it's over. When you're going just home, so. walking around campus, do people stop you and get pictures? Just a normal day? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I definitely say that. Definitely when I'm out though, when I'm out and like crazy thing is I have my hoodie on and still people will notice me. So yeah. Well, you you also have like big muscles, and so you know, <laughs> you know something's up when you see you because you're jacked. And s- how I mean, a little I, different. I really, I, re- I really, I really be having a jacket on, like, really heavy. So I don't, I don't know if people can tell who I am, but um, a lot of people can tell who I am. It's crazy. Hey, what's the story about practice? And because when you came to the University of Arkansas, you were a uh, four-star athlete. Were you always coming in to play running back, or were you playing wide receiver? No, receiver. Actually, I was an athlete, but um, in like my film, my film, my film was like mainly receiver. But I did a little bit of like backfield stuff, and then actually I did defense too. So some teams that offered me as athlete, but low key wanted me playing defense as well, safety, linebacker, stuff like that. But um, actually I came to Arkansas as an athlete, and then the coach, coach uh, Step had left as receiver. So um, we was we was we was connecting like heavy me and Coach Step. That's who recruited me heavy here and then he left right when I got here. So um crazy thing is I when we started doing like Indy, Indy is like position drills. So when I first got here, Coach Pitt was like, hey, I, I went to the middle of the field and talked to Coach Pitt Hill. I was like, um, where you want me to go, receiver or running back? He was like, I want you to go to running back and try it out. And then I guess after he watched my Indy and the drills, I was like competing, competing in or whatever, he was like, hey, we want you at we want you at running back. So um that was pretty smooth and that went smooth. 
for me. Yeah, I would think so. I think it went real smooth for you. <laughs> where, where do you see uh, in the future? Let's just, you know, if you once you finish your collegiate career, whenever that is, at the next level, do you you want to play running back or you want to play uh, um, wide receiver? Really, really, really want to come down to, um, of course, I'm playing running back right now, so I, I would love to play running back because that's where I know most of my stuff at. But um, really, like I told coaches here and, like, coaches I talked to before um, I got recruited by Arkansas, um, when I started getting recruited heavy by a lot of schools, I was just telling them I play in the position. I just want to be on the field. Works hard. Uh, your son, your Halloween costume looked great. Little, uh, was that Bam Bam? Yeah. Was that Bam Bam or Fred Flintstone? Which one was it? I think I think it was uh, Fred. I think it was Fred. I was kind of confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever it was, he played it off good though. What do you listen to before a game? Like what? What's in your your phone? Uh, I'll probably say mm, a little bit of uh, Rod Wave. He probably. It probably a little sad so when we think about my family my loved ones and then i'll probably crank it up to like probably nba young boy that's a little crazy so yeah you play madden at all you play 2k at all uh no 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 i'm actually finna start getting on the game to have a little time to myself yeah i guess you gotta uh, wait till after other season than that, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah other than that i just be chilling all right well how's it looking with liberty you guys feel pretty good about this week yeah definitely um you know just really key thing is just get some film on them um, I feel like they're a solid team. When it comes down to playing the team that's not in the SEC, you know what I mean? I feel like they're coming in and playing hard. So we just got to prepare, prepare for them and just play play our game. My final question for you, you ever been hit so hard where you're like, I will, oh, yeah. I mean, what, crazy, <laughs> crazy thing is when I first got here, you know, I changed the running back automatically. So um, I'll say uh, we'll do – it was red, red area when we first started. When I first got here, red area is like wheels, full pads. It was spring, so it was tackle. It was hitting. And so as a running back, as a receiver, you don't go in the hole. So when I went in the hole as a running back, my first – wasn't my first drill. Um, Grant Morgan, yeah, hit me pretty – it had hit me pretty good. And um, that day when I first got out of there, that woke me up as being a running back. I was like, oh, man. Let me ask you this final, final question. Do you think mm-hmm. if I played – Oh, boy, here you 12 go. Ga- so 12 games, right? Let's say I played 12 games for Arkansas right now. Coach signed me up and said, you can play running back for us. I come right now as I am, still pretty athletic, a little older, obviously, can still move a little bit. Do you think? Yeah, in, in, I'm, in, gonna, I'm gonna tell you this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now. That little, little jogging and weren't running and uh, recovery doing. You are gonna need more recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Out of everything, you gonna need more recovery. Okay, but let me ask you the question. Do you think I Go could ahead, through uh, 12 games? Do you think I could total 100 yards total through the whole season? It's about eight yards a game, playing running back. Yeah. I, I believe in you, but uh, it's about it's, a, it's about that first hit. If you get that first hit, and you're okay. Then I might ride with you, mm. as you know, you get five yard pop. That's that's that'll be smooth. You'll 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 probably reach that goal, but um, it just matter. It, it really matter what team you playing. Wow. Yeah, Rocket. He's not considering the losing yards. Like if he loses yeah. ten yards, like he's lost. Yeah, that. I think about it. Yeah, but if you get five a pop or ten yeah. pop, then you might be smooth. But like I said, it might be. It really matter what team you play. I got heart of and a what, lion. What you win? Yeah, I, I got a, I got the heart of a lion, and I play Georgia. Who cares? Bring him on. Okay. I take him on all day, okay. every day. <laughs> Look at me, man. Come on, man. Yeah. What team? I don't hit, know. I don't know. What team hit the hardest? Uh, ooh, this year, really. I'll probably say, I'll probably say Alabama, Alabama, because it wasn't even the first guy that hit me. It's about that they ran to the ball. So it was one play where the defensive end had uh, came out of nowhere. It hit me from the side. So I definitely say Alabama because they're a disciplined team and they was running to the ball heavy. All right, Rocket, we appreciate you. Uh, we'll be talking yep. with you soon. Have a good game this week. Be healthy and uh, yeah. man, just keep doing it. Keep doing it for us, man. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. All right, there he is, Rocket Sanders, everybody. Yeah.